Damn game guy, it's time for more. Let's play Kirby 64. I think that rhymes. Does that rhyme? I'm gonna have to consult a rhyme scientist. In the meantime, let's play this video game that happens to be in front of me. Oh man, when I said we were gonna have some rock music, I wasn't kidding. Hey, let's get a new ability, because this one's kind of boring. <laughs> you know. So, I gotta jump up here and go ahead and get that thing. There's no parasol ability in this game, which is depressing or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get fire and needle, because that allows me to have flaming arrows! I finally shot the sun in the morning and gone to an island in the middle of a lake to obtain these, this wonderful device that allows me to light torches and other various things. End reference. So, um, now we need to go ahead and, uh, destroy all these blocks so we can get that one little star that allows us to gain an extra life. Extra lives are pretty sweet because they allow us to live longer in this harsh world known as Kirbyville. So, um, yes, that's a rock, and it totally tricked me by jumping slightly higher than I had anticipated. How could you, Mr. Rock? How could you? How could you do such things? I must get this meat that is on the floor, which is also known as the ground, in the sand. I mean, I guess the five-second rule applies somewhere. I mean, I, I guess... I, I don't know. It was on the screen for about five seconds, so so maybe that maybe that counts? I don't know. There's some cake here, too. I don't want sand in my cake. Not gonna lie, sandy cake just does not sound delicious. I'm not, I'm not sure why someone would even think to do that, but, you know, we're gonna go into this mouth. Notice that the wall looks kinda like a face, which is why I said we're going into this mouth. Meanwhile, bird things. I think they're called Bronto Birds, but that's obviously a thwomp ripoff. But it's not a thwomp. You can tell because it only has one eye. Also, it's very geometrical and doesn't have, like, ribs on its side or, or whatever you want to call it. I was gonna say, isn't there a secrety, secretive, secret thing there? Because I think there's a secrety, secretive, secret thing there. And as such, I was correct. There was indeed a secrety thing there. Isn't it great, floor ice cream? Floor ice cream gives me health. Just in case you wanted to know. So, um, this is a guy who I can throw arrows at and... Whoa, man, he's dead. Who knew cacti were such were so impervious to the, the thought of not fire. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying here. I do not even. I think this is one of those levels where I need a specific ability, and I have forgotten what that is. So, um, no doubt I am not going to get that particular piece of something. But you never know. I could be lucky in this world of rising sand and spiky things. Not spiky guys. I think that guy's female, which is slightly contradictory based on the way I said it. But regardless, he is now crushed by sand and floating blocks. Isn't it a painful display of pain? That Gordo can go through sand. How? I have no idea. Sand is actually pretty dense or something. It, it would be very difficult to be able to do such things. That Waddle D, he just punched the floor, and there's now a hole. Oh no, the sand filled up. Well, I guess we'll never see that Gordo again. Such a terrible thing. Yeah, see, it's yellow and brown. That means um, I needed my yo-yo boulder or something. There are scary things behind me, which is why I'm not going to turn around and see how to stop them. Silly Scarfies. Your name is like a garment you wear around your neck. So, there's an electric guy here. I wonder if maybe I could do nothing and let him jump on top of me. Mr. Plant Guy in the background, do leave me alone. I said do leave me alone, and then what do you do? The exact opposite. These plant cacti things are just crazy. I, 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 can't, I can't condone these conditions. I just, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Gordo. I just, I can't. I wanted that spark ability because spark is kind of sweet, but he doesn't want to respawn until I get all the way over here. I don't know why. Spark is one of those abilities that's pretty shocking. It's like zip, zap, zippity, zap. And then there's a cactus guy, and then I'm running away. I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. In this world of crazy things, we're at the end of the level already. How, how does this happen? I want that, uh absolutely nothing in the corner. I love eating absolutely nothing. It's delicious. It, it has, like, 
no negative consequences for eating it at all. Guess I have to go back here and get me another crystal shard that I missed. You there, with the face! I totally missed you! Hooray! Well, guess I get to do that again. Hey, maybe if I start this thing with the correct ability, it might help and save me some time. You know, instead of losing the ability at, like, the beginning of the level, as was with the case at Grammar last time. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. Also, you know, missing my second chance may have been a mistake. Maybe. I, I, haven't, I haven't fully decided on that one yet. So, I'm um, getting beat up by Cacti and Gordos which actually didn't do anything, but that little skeleton guy kind of did, so, you know, I'm gonna go over here and get this sandwich. Yummy sandwich! Mmm, 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 delicious. So now we can go to this level. This level is known as the level with a bunch of pillars and such everywhere, and, uh, it's pretty fantastic, I have to say. Let's go ahead and get a new ability known as the Needle Ability. We've never had this ability before. Actually, I don't, I don't remember if we've had this ability. I've already forgotten. Let's go ahead and get this, whatever this is. This looks like Rock Needle. It allows me to have the biggest drill in the world. I think there's a reference here that someone will undoubtedly make, but, uh, I, I don't know about such things, so I won't be making it. So go ahead and make it if you want. So, um, yes, there was, a, there was a warthog on the other side of that pillar thing, which I just promptly decided to, like, send a drill his way. You know, I, I'm like a drill sergeant or something. <laughs> because, you know, gotta have puns in here somewhere. If we don't have puns somewhere, we don't have puns anywhere. Gotta have puns, man. Puns make the world go round. Um, somehow. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I, I honestly don't. Oh, I can go through that. That explains a lot, because I, I wasn't expecting to be able to go through such things. Oh man, look at me drill that wall. Take that wall. Never saw it coming, did you? So, there's a guy there, and I kind of destroyed him. I don't like them mummy guys, because they're all like, Man, you can't eat us. You just, you just can't, you know? You can't eat a mummy, alright? Mummies are just... They're inedible, alright? Let's, let's get our facts straight. Have you ever been to Egypt and tried to eat a mummy? because you would not have been successful. There's a very hidden one-up up here. See? One-up up here? Man, that's that's crazy. Who would put a one-up in a high location? I don't even know. That was like a trap or something? I, I, I'm not even totally sure what, what that's supposed to be. I lost my ability at some point. It's worth noting. I mean, I, I, I knew, but... Uh, oh, hey, those guys are the needle ability. I, I didn't realize that they were. I thought maybe, you know, they could be something, but I wasn't sure, so I had to make sure, and, um, well, I did exactly that, you know? There's some cake up here. I kind of need it, because for whatever reason, I'm just taking hits all over the place. It's, it's crazy. I don't, I don't understand how I've done such things. Oh no, scary ghost things throwing their scary fireballs of doom. They're so scary that they're not even fireball colored. They're just purple or something. I mean... Whoever heard of purple fireballs? I knew there was a thing in here somewhere, but for whatever reason I forgot it was down here in the Void of Death. The Void of Death is a very scary place. I would avoid the Void of Death if I were you. Just just a friendly little tip, you know? It's, it's not often thought of by some people. And then this is the mashy squishy thing. Don't get mashed or squished by the mashy squishy thing, because it's not very nice. You don't like mashy, squishy things around here, and, um, I'm gonna let you know that right now. Cause see, it, see, this is why you don't want to let the mashy, squishy things mash and or squish you. Cause it's, it's painful, you know? Instant death is very frequently, um, death-inducing. So, you know, in case you weren't aware of obvious things, you know, I'm just pointing that out there. I know this guy gives me the cutter ability, but I'm kind of hoping I can get something better. I think I can hit... Well, those guys have a shield, which worries me, because I think they can actually block my stuff. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, I don't like it when Kirby does that weird inhaling thing when you, like, go uh, like weird locations and such. Man, I was hoping I would have eaten both of them, but no. No, of course not. Can't do that. That would, that would just be too easy. Piece of cake. 
I'm gonna try to get this guy, and yep, see, he just blocks it with his shield. What a jerk face. Only a jerk face would do such things. This is what I always used to call the bear trap ability, because, I, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a bear trap. I don't know. That's just what I thought, you know? That's just what I thought. Man, when you're in the water, everything you do is at, like, half speed, and it's just, it's a sad day. Also, we can go up here now and finally get that extra life that has been eluding us for so long. So long have I ever wanted an extra life in this world of lack of lives, I, I, I think. I don't know. I think that's the ice ability guy, but I'm going to keep this ability for a while. You know, and showcase it by completely evading all of my foes by jumping all over the place. I could instead be killing them all, but, you know, why, why bother killing enemies when you can just run past them? Seriously, there's no need to get in fights. Oh, hi, Penguin Man. How are you doing? Oh, I guess we're playing Piggyback Ride or something. So this is one of the segments of the game where you get to play as King DDD. He's got three Ds in his name, followed by three E's in, in um, succession or something. I, I don't know. But um, he's got a hammer, and he can hammer some guys, and um, he's not immune to fire. I suppose that's important to note. Hey, look, I figured out where this thing was rather quickly. Isn't it great? Look at that. See, he's not immune to fire. What are you talking about? I don't, I've never heard of such things. A penguin being immune to fire? What in the world is this about? I have no idea. Don't you know that Pokemon Logic says that ice is weak to fire? I mean, penguins are obviously going to be ice types. Why would you even expect otherwise? It's water steel? What's up with that? that? That doesn't make any sense at all. So, um, this is a maze of some kind. It's pretty amazing. That is the most original pun I have ever made in my life ever. So, um, of course, now we're going to move on here. Going this way takes us to a picnic in the ruins. I've always wanted to have a picnic in the ruins. Let's get this red star thing, because, you know, why not? <laughs> Reference. So, where to next? Do I want to go to another level? I mean, I have to cut out a bunch of stuff, so I don't know. I think I'm just going to stop it here just to be safe, and I guess next time we're going to go to some place with coral or something. I, I, don't, I don't even know. don't even know. I'll see you next time and we'll find out together.